This is the Galaxy Report for Saturday, July 1st, 2006. Welcome to the Galaxy Report. I'm Free Kasaka. I uh, got another jam packed panel this week. Joining me is Gyron. Gyron, how you doing? I'm packed with jam. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Flip side's joining us. Flip, what you up to? Oh, not too much. I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Doing well. Uh, Psycho Pyro has decided to join us this week for a little while. Kind of chat with us. How you doing, Pyro? I'm alright. How's everybody else? We're doing right. wonderful so far. Then we have Darth Sushi back. Darth, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. Good, good. Okay, this week I'm going to go over the show notes real quick. Uh, kind of throughout the show we're going to do a happy anniversary tribute to Star Wars Galaxies. We're going to share some of uh, our favorite experiences we've had in the past three years with the game. Uh, we also have some people who have emailed us uh, some really good stories about things that they've done. We're going to share those with you. And then uh, hopefully towards the end of the show, we're going to get some calls in so everyone has a chance to share their favorite memories. And there's a damn fly flying around. It's re- oh, man, it's making me mad. But anyways, <laughs> we're going to do that throughout the show and uh, kind of, you know, mix things up. Then we're also going to be talking about the Restus. I believe it was patched, what, Chapter 1.2. I, I kind of lost track of how they're doing this now. But it's something in there. Basically, we're going to be talking about Restus, it going live, our experiences. We have the House of Commons chat, the com link. Of course, with the Jedi Expertise Tree, the Friday feature, and we'll get to some Q&A at some point, we hope. So, where do you guys want to start? You want, you want to start with the happy anniversary, or should we bounce around? Should we start with Restus? Um, let's start with, uh, uh, let's start with the Rebel Base on Bloodfin is done. Oh, <laughs> bastards. <laughs> and I have to admit, I have done my one mission to help the Imperials. On uh, Bloodfin, so guys, thanks, or you're welcome. That's all. That's all. That's all I've done all week. I've done one mission. Jeez. I went. I killed my 40 Rebel Commandos, and that was it. So I don't know. Let's let's start off with the. Some people called an exploit. Some people didn't want to call it an exploit. But uh, basically, what happened? Rested goes live, and you get a bunch of people hanging around the recruiter taking missions and getting credit for doing absolutely nothing. Flip. What what do you think about all that? Well, you know, I actually <laughs> did that with my alt, so I don't. No. I, uh, I well, it's my crafter, and it's a structure crafter, and I couldn't do nothing in the game. So I was like, well, you know what? I want this person to also get something out of it. So, but I I, I understand that you, you know that's not supposed to be something that you're supposed there, to do. There's a difference between grouping up with a combat tune. And a crafter and having like a group of eight stand around the mission guy and have one person work and seven people benefit though. Continually ongoing. It just seems like to me that the sit that you know, everyone's complaining about all the missing content in the game, there's no content, no content. And we finally get content and they're just finding they're trying to find the quickest way to completely blow through this. And you know, it's like they want to get rest this done in a week and a half and then they can go back to bitching about there not being any content. Well, again, this is just the first phase. You right. know, as it progresses, you'll be getting more commendations, permissions, and, and it well, won't and even one of the the devs did make a little letter of apology for not thinking through the um, the crafters 
for, you know, they only set it up for, like, munitions. Munitions. You know, and they, you know, he, so they're going to make it some point down the line a little, you know, better so everybody can make something, you know, make a whole bunch of war chairs or something. I don't know. It was kind of <laughs> nice to see that they, they basically said, you know, the crafting, the crafting missions were an afterthought. You know, we kind of got them in there, you know, okay, what should we do? Uh, I don't know, carbines, let's put them in there. Okay, bam. And it was done. You know, it, was, it wasn't totally thought out the way it should be. Pyro, what are your thoughts on all the people just kind of grouping around? I, I don't know. It, it felt to my same thing about the lava fleas. I really thought that it was something that shouldn't have been allowed to go on in the first place. You know, it was something that was reported, and everybody just ignored it. Sush, you got thoughts on this one? Yeah, I guess the whole uh, lava fleet thing, I feel like it was an infor- unfortunate repeat, um, but, uh, yeah, whatever. And uh, I thought it was big of them to come out and say that uh, they hadn't really thought through crafting and that they'd, you know, take a crack at going back and, you know, maybe fixing that later on. But, yeah, you know, I haven't even taken a look at it yet uh, in live. I was kind of busy this week, so. Yeah, same here. Like I said, I got in, did one mission, that was about it. It just kind of, it, it spoiled the whole immersion factor for me, just to go there. You know, I'm more of a casual player. I can't constantly, you know, grind away. And just to see everyone just kind of like sitting around, nothing, you know, not doing anything and knowing that they're getting credit, it, it did tick me off a little bit. But what can you do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, so far. You cry about it on the forums. You can. Oh, yeah. Nerf them. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. I think I read a number of people complaining just today about stuff. Nadia did a number of locking. <laughs> well, it, it, it keeps it. Good for her. It keeps yeah. her, you know, SWG Mod 01002, and, you know, it keeps them busy. So they, that's what they're doing. They're just trying to help out and keep them people employed. Yeah, and it wasn't just the rest of the stuff. It was the, the not, I don't know if it's number one thing, but the Elder Jedi thing came up again. You know, like it does all the time. Oh, of course. Let's kind of let's let's get uh, your guys' thoughts on Rastus, uh, Gyron. So far, you've been you played around with it a little bit. What are your thoughts about the whole setup? Well, first, I was terribly pissed because I did the mining mission first, and I tried to turn in my ore, and he didn't want it. So then I went to do the ground mission, and I mean, it's it's terribly boring, but again, it's just the first phase. You're just building up the defenses, getting the base ready for phase two. I, I would love to do the space combat, but since I'm privateer, I'm really ruled out of that, too. I, I, once it gets going, it's a good idea. I, I think there's a lot of potential. We'll see what phases two and three bring, but... Did I mention the rubble base is already freaking complete? <laughs> on Bloodfin. <laughs> on Bloodfin, I'm sorry. Not... Have, have you gone over to look at it? I, I kind of skirted the perimeter just to see if they were making crap up on the forum. But <laughs> no, I mean, it looks like a fully operational area. And I, I kind of like the this the whole setup to this. Um, maybe, you know, we, we may have some issues with the implementation, you know, with b- people being able to kind of skirt around maybe the rules. But um, I, I like the way it works, you know, like kind of the way the system's set up. You do a bunch of these missions to build up something. And I don't know, the, the, the way it was made, it, it seems like it, it, it wasn't meant for you to get a ton of accommodations just by doing, like, killing the 40 rebels. Yeah, exactly. That will come as the phases progress. And I think in phase three, you know, when the battle goes on, it'll be nice that you're actually contributing to uh, – Static change. I mean, this this is going to be a permanent thing, right? So that's kind of neat. Sushi, what 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 are your thoughts on Restus? Even though you haven't had much of a chance. Yeah, well, I mean, I I, I was I guess at work following the forums, uh, sort of you know half paying attention, and I saw that like I don't know Chalastra hit phase two in like an hour and a half, and I was like, what? <laughs> but it turns out it, that's not actually what happened. I guess they finished building their base, or maybe, but the the part where you know they had actually triggered phase two and rest us had blown up, and all of that stuff had happened like you know on you know before noon on the first day or something like that. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be kidding. That would have been funny. Yeah, in but, a sad uh, way. Yeah, real yeah, funny. Yeah, like you know, I guess nobody saw that coming, but that's actually not what happened. And I'm glad they clarified that that's what's going on. That you know, they're building up the bases, even with the uh, you know 
the Lava Flea esque exploit uh, still isn't uh, isn't triggering the, the next phase of the of the, the event yet. So I was happy about that. I, overall, I think it's a good idea. I like it so far. I mean, in in concept, I haven't had a whole lot of time to you know uh, experience the actual execution of it, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Pyro, have you had much of a chance to hop in there and play around with it? Uh, not on live. No, I've hopped around a bit on TC, but um, I I don't know. I still see a few problems with it. Um. Just the general. I think some of it's more along the lines of besides the exploiting, and I expected it to take a lot longer than what it has, even just to complete the first phase of the first, you know, the first section of the first phase. I expected it to take longer. It just doesn't seem like they thought out maybe putting time constraints on this to make it last a little bit longer for people that can't get in all the time. Well, what are your thoughts on, I mean, this probably has flown around, you know, and I'm sure, you know, people are talking about it. Do you think it's something where maybe, like, the the devs haven't, like, even if we build the bases completely, they're, like, the devs have to go in and trigger the next phase where they're, they're kind of going to be like, okay, well, people can get a chance, you know, to get in there and mess around with stuff, and that way the casual gamer can get in there. We're going to hold it back, even if they complete it. You know, people aren't going to know if they can totally complete everything or not. And then it's going to take the devs to go in there and actually trigger the event for it to go on to the next phase. Does anybody buy into that theory? Honestly, I think that's probably the best way they could have handled it. If they, if, I mean, because they seem to be so bent on controlling the content and controlling where everybody goes, it just makes sense that they should have controlled that on top of it all. I thought it was going to be something where, like, phase one, uh, like, you know, go from phase one to the phase two of... Um, the actual battle for Rastus. I thought that was going to be like a month of us grinding. That's what I fully expect. No, I heard it was supposed to be like a week to two weeks. For that, I, I was a little disappointed in that. Yeah, I feel like I'm falling behind and not contributing to the cause right now. <laughs> you, should, you should have logged in and sat there on the first day. Exactly. <laughs> Flip, what are your thoughts on the whole Rastus thing? Are you having fun with it? you enjoying it? I'm having fun. I've been doing uh, the space part of it. I need XP, so not not that it because uh, it's quest XP that it gives you uh, or quest combat, but I'm getting the XP while up in space. And it's, I, I I like that portion of it. I've done the mining part. Um, I like it. Besides from uh, the exploit, which I kind of <coughs> contributed to, but my Bastard. crafter was well, my crafter. <laughs> Your crafter grouped it. with a combat character. That's not an exploit. That's well, my ca- it's a structure crafter, and I can't do nothing for the the rest of the event. So, but I I changed the munitions, so now she can uh, do stuff. Now you can so. spend forty seven million to get five hundred commendations by crafting all those e elevens. <laughs> no, but I think uh, I, I like how they set the numbers high with the commendations of getting a certain amount because there are people that get. That will get a crazy amount of those uh, points, and so I like how they've set it up pretty high. I thought it would have been funny because you know they talked about the making those uh, making those tradable. I thought it would have been funny if like after people started doing the little exploit thing, if they would have just said, "Oh no, there's something wrong. We can't make them expo- or we can't make them tradable," just to make people sweat it out for a little while. Like even <laughs> if they would have just delayed it like a month and a half, and people would have been you know. Sitting there with like five, six hundred of these things, thinking, "Oh crap, what am I going to do with these now?" Especially a Jedi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it just would have been fun. So, I don't know. I kind of lost my train of thought now. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have anything else on Restus? That patch was. Is there anything I missed in that patch, or was it mostly just Restus? Um. Here, I, I'll hold off a second. Um. Just looking over what about the loot. Oh, yeah, the, the new loot in the game. Well, I don't have any of it yet. <laughs> Are you talking about the weapons that you can get from accommodations? Yay, another Jedi hilt. <laughs> yeah. No. That one, I, can, I, I have a little information on that. That is something from... The Jinsu knife? The, yeah. the Jinsu <laughs> <Ginsu. hilt. laughs> Yeah, I, I looked at it. It's, uh, that's something that um, you can get um, stage three. The spawn is the Emperor's hand. Um, 
supposedly it's on an 8-hour spawn timer, and I think that they're going to try to decrease that. I'm not sure. Um, and what I've read on the forums, what I've gotten, is that um, you could be grouped up with uh, Medic, Commando, Spy, Smuggler, or any Jedi or Medic. Um, any group that defeats the NCP, um, any Jedi that's grouped, and I don't... Actually, it's a, as long as you do one point of damage to it before you get it dies, you can loot it. Okay, that's what I was trying to get to. Yeah, and they did make it so it's not going to be no trade, right? So if you are a medic, spy, bounty hunter, and you loot, I think you only if you're a Jedi, it's a radio menu. It's big, me- it? it's big cash. Oh, I see. You know what weapon I'm pissed off most about is the Mando sword. Have you guys seen that thing? Nah. If you, Why are they even giving out melee weapons if if the only melee class is Jedi? Well, there's going to be expertise coming up soon, guys. <laughs> actually, actually, I do pretty good with my spy in melee. Really? Yeah. I heard, I heard spies are better than uh, Jedi. Or at least that's what some Jedi was complaining about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do better. I do better with my spy than my Jedi at melee. So. That's funny. <laughs> but seriously, go go to the TGR forums in the uh in the news section of uh the galaxies part. Check out I have the pictures of the different weapons. Look at the Mando sword. Whoever made that, I want them fired tomorrow. It, <laughs> we cannot bitch at the art department. Let's bitch about somebody else. <laughs> no, no, the the Mando sword and the the rebel pistol. The, the, oh, the rebel awful. pistol is just yeah. Yeah. Like the, the rest of the stuff I I can live with. I, the rebel sword looks kind of nice. The the rebel heavy weapon, you know, has a certain look to it, and I can live with the other. A heavy rifle, stuff. not heavy weapon. Heavy rifle. Okay, that's a heavy rifle. Sorry, I apologize. I didn't have that. Okay, all don't get my commando hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> but there's there's a mando heavy weapon. Heavy rifle. No, there's that's a heavy a weapon, shotgun. Isn't it? Oh, that's a shotgun. Now there's a shotgun. Okay. Engine, I don't know. Yeah, there's a few rifles that I think <laughs> look kind of nice. I, I, but the Mando sword is just, it's disturbing. I hate it. <laughs> oh. It's, like, seriously, there's there's nothing to it. Maybe I just had, got a bad picture of it, because I, I didn't personally get the picture myself. I just found a website that had it, but <laughs> it disturbs me. You sound very perturbed. I, I am. I'm mm-hmm. angry beyond belief. Yeah. Maybe you should write a letter. I think <laughs> there's actually we. I used to work with a woman. She she worked our switchboard who would get angry about things that she saw on TV and was constantly writing letters. Like she would always call me up. She'd be like, "Hey Dick, can you bring me paper? I need to write more letters." So like I'm supplying her with this stuff, and she's like firing off firing them off to CBS and all these other places. Anytime there was something that pissed her off. <laughs> Did you ever get I a wish, response? I think I'm a couple sorry, of times. <laughs> Please, accept this coupon. The A-Team is too violent for my son. <laughs> oh, man. But for the Mandalorian armor, there there's going to be the armor uh, die kits for 50 recommendation, uh, recommendation. Combinations. Combination, I mean, uh, and it's a permanent schematic. And, uh, Yay, die kits. And yeah. it only works with the... Right, with the they rest said that they want, they'll investigate in the future for uh, other uh, armor die kits. So, but that's nothing that they're looking at right now. So can only armorsmiths create those? Um, the, the die kits? Yeah, what are they suited, su- suited for? Also says is that... Um, what, I thought uh, it... What? I, I thought it was chef. just a kit. Well, yeah, this is Nicholas Sweet, uh, the game designer. He says, unfortunately, you, you can only use it with the rest of the armor. They'd love to see it work with, uh, with the old... Mandalorian armor, but it's set up differently. He doesn't mention anything for it being just uh, armor smith. So is it a schematic? That I thought it was just, just... It's a it's permanent just, schematic. Right. And he doesn't lead you on to say, thinking it's for just armor smith, so he doesn't say that. Well, I would hope it was only for armor smiths, or... I mean, if anything, it should just, just be for traders where they can craft them and anybody can buy them and recolor their stuff, but I... I don't see why anyone would be able to learn that schematic and make it. Doesn't say. We're going to have to do some investigating, aren't we? <laughs> I demand clarification. <laughs> but if we're finishing up on uh, the rest of the stock, I got two quick things. Shoot. Um, uh, finishing a part of the base. Um, if you're done with that part, the NCP will say uh, to you, 
good to have you here, soldier. I hope you have come prepared to win it. This is while you're still complaining. He'll, he'll say, good to have you here, soldier. I hope you came prepared to fight. The Emperor's still calling in dark troopers or rebel. He won't, he won't say empire. He'll say whoever. But uh, he'll say that. And if you are done with it, he'll say, uh, good to have you here, soldier. I hope you've come prepared. Uh, they got this wrong. He'll tell you. He'll, <laughs> he'll tell you. Well, he'll be like, hey, he'll say, yeah, it's done. I copied, I copied this, and it, it doesn't make sense. They use the word still in there. At some point, he'll be like, he'll, he'll say still, and when, when it's done, and when it's not done, he won't say still. Right. So that's how you'll know. Okay, the last them. thing that happened to a base, though, the medical center and walls uh, grow in response to the other four elements growing. Uh, in fact, the very last thing that will happen to your base is the wall's third upgrade. It's like the Aurelian tree. Yeah, and as soon as you get to its highest potential, the next day it dies on you. <laughs> I had to happen to it, but anyways, I think that's something else. <laughs> Bastard tree. I'm getting a lot of feedback whenever you talk, Freak. Really? Yeah, so am I. So am I. Well, you guys will just have to live with it. <laughs> I'll check my connections real quick, make sure. Hopefully it's not recording like that. I, I don't know. I'm not I like at the home office, that so. We'll find out, won't we? We certainly will. Okay, so the rest of this patch comes out, and uh, the next day they give us a House of Commons chat on the whole... Uh, Rest this event. Anybody able to make it to it? No. <laughs> crickets. <laughs> crickets. <laughs> no. I uh I read the uh transcript. Yeah, I read it too. <laughs> I read it too. Alright. I, I planned on being there and then my old lady's like, Oh, let's go out to dinner. Dinner. Uh, you, she paid so I don't care. <laughs> it worked All right, out great. Yeah. <laughs> the Olive Garden. Ooh. 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 They have good breadsticks. Endless breadsticks. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. You know, it's great spinach artichoke dip. Never thought I'd like it. Love it there. And especially when someone else is paying, it's great. But anyways. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> how's the comments chat? Did anybody take anything from it? or <laughs> Is there ever anything to take from one? <laughs> well, you know, the, the last House of Commons chat I thought was pretty decent. You know, it was, it was on topic. This one, it... I don't know. I think it, it felt like too soon after the whole Restus event because that's kind of what it was about. Like with Restus being released, that nobody really had anything good to talk about. <laughs> but did, did anybody get anything from it? Like, feel free to jump in at any time. Anybody? I don't think anyone got anything from it. <laughs> no, they're just they talk about Restus, and, they, and then there's a few things that are just old news. It seems like they're just bringing back up again. Seemed like almost they should have waited till after the expertise trees came out before they had this, so... Because pe- people were wondering about them, and they were like, oh, Friday, well, Friday. Well, there's old things they're talking... They're like, is DK, DK going to make it back in the game? And uh, Just stuff about targeting. Rest us. No plans for creature handlers. <laughs> Great. Blew through that yeah. in 30 seconds. All right. <laughs> Well, well it, it was nice of them to tell us exactly what the next two uh, com links were going to be. You know, Jedi this Friday and Bounty Hunters the Friday after. Like we didn't see that coming. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, they, it's not like they they don't really often commit to something like that. So. And with it only being two weeks out, you can you can rest assured that's probably going to happen without many changes. <laughs> Well, it just means that LucasArts already signed off on it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, which, you know, I should explain sometime, like, the if, if people think that we're just BSing about this whole LucasArts approval process, I should explain what it's like to try to get an interview sometime. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be for a different show, but we're we're still working on a couple of interviews. We wanted to uh, get some dev input on, like, the whole third anniversary of SWG, but uh, we, we've kind of been bouncing around and... Uh, I can understand, you know, the whole rest of this event going on, trying to get that worked out, but hopefully next week for the first anniversary of, uh, for TGR, we can have some dev commentary. I hope. Well, why this rest of this event is going on, are they even going to do a, uh, Empire Day? 
No, there no is Empire no Empire Day. No Empire Day. Okay. They I need like uh, another banner. They want to concentrate on bug fixing and delivering new and exciting content. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you guys just preached the the uh, party line. <laughs> uh, I'm not preaching anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I just I keep looking through the com link hoping there's something that jumps out that's like okay this is really good to talk about. Uh no chapter- free respects <laughs> no. <laughs> chapter two's coming this summer. Ooh that's. In the future. Yeah, but no mention as to whether or not it's actually going to include collision, right? I don't think so. I, I could have I thought there was something they talked about on the forums, or maybe that was, you know, someone else talking about it, but I thought it was mentioned. People were talking about wanting to be able to, like, be affected by cliffs and everything, and I really don't think the layout for SWG is would be effective for that kind of collision detection. Because you have, like, a lot of areas you need to go to where there wouldn't be... I mean, they'd have to go in and add paths, or like, up cliffs and around mountains and stuff like that. Maybe well, they could give you a craftable parachute or something, too. <laughs> One of the things they promised at the, uh, geez, it was the 2005 Fan Fest was planetary facelifts, which uh, was going to mean that all of the planets were going to get, I guess, you know revisited with the, uh, instead of having the auto-generated terrain or whatever, going in and putting in areas that were more guided like, uh, or restricted pathing like Kashyyyk and Mustafar. I don't like that. Well, yeah, see, well, then, well, then they took some of the restricted pathing out of Kashyyyk and... Yeah, exactly. So, who knows where that went. I hope they don't put that stuff in there because it's always a pain just to get through, to get to the point where you're trying to get from A to B. Maybe it'll be part of the image designer uh, expertise tree where they'll get, like, planetary image design. <laughs> <laughs> just random image designers going to planets and changing them around. Uh, elite profession of landscaper. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I made a hedgerow. <laughs> you go around. And make a fence around your shuttle port so they can never escape unless they use your shuttle port again. Forget about your instant travel vehicle. Sorry, that'll stop the Shermans. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I didn't buy one of those instant travel uh, those packs to get the, the X-Wing or Imperial. So, I like those. If I could have got one for, what, nine bucks, like nine Gyron got one, I, I would have got one just for the X-Wing. I got, I got, the got the X-Wing. my I've got yeah. my Elder Tie. I, I feel bad for you guys that bought them, but I, I like my instant travel vehicle. Yeah, it's handy. Yeah, and there's no more collision in there if there was some. So no, no, you can just some. call it and hide inside it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, great. You just gave them that. Is that your Tuesday tip? That's, trust me, it's not a tip. They already know. <laughs> Crafty bastards. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So, house comments chat. We went through it. Uh, nothing there. Move yeah. along. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wish the stormtroopers actually would say that again, like they used to a long time ago. I know they got the medical droids talking more than the stormies. <laughs> you know, now they just say it in spatial. But I wish they'd actually say it because I thought that was Star Warsy. Sorry, I, I said wrong. Star Wars. You said that word. I'm sorry. Be... Do I got to do ten push-ups now or what? <laughs> It was EU-tastic. <laughs> Should just hang up on you. If anyone <laughs> no, says yeah, that, yeah. they just get hung up on. <laughs> uh, well, does anyone want to share their favorite uh, SWG moment? We'll just bounce into that right now. Go straight up, Gyron. Gyron, what's your favorite moment? I'll trade it for 100, uh, 100 million credits. Um, There's been a lot. Well, what? what Share a couple of them with us then. Tell us some stories. That time we were at the uh, Imperial Outpost at like, I don't know, it was probably close to midnight real time. And uh, I remember you had like a full suit of like bone armor and I kept, I kept on making fun of you. And then we were attacking those butterflies. And it spawned <laughs> one of the queens there, the big ones. And then all the stormies <laughs> helped us. And like, wow, we're doing awesome. So we kept on dragging them in there. And <laughs> that, that was a lot of fun back then. Or sneaking around, uh, 
uh, the Terrace Cassie trainer. I always used to get ink cap when I was loading into the shuttle ports. <laughs> that wasn't a good moment, though, actually. Oh, I, re- I remember those days, like, having to go train. And, like, the only trainer you knew about was, like, say, I don't know, in a city where there's a bunch of meat lumps that you couldn't kill and you had to try to find your way to get to your trainer without getting ink capped. That was awesome. It was awesome. It was scary. Scary is good. Or, like, having your uh, setting your radar for 200 meters and skirting those red dots on death. <laughs> <laughs> Dath, what are you talking about? I was doing that on Corellia trying to uh, check my harvesters. Oh, yeah, I remember when, when we'd wait to group up to go to another planet because we were, you know, not high enough level yet. <laughs> yeah, the first time I went to Tat was crazy. I bought something off the uh, off a vendor in Wayfar, and I'm like, oh, no, how am I going to get there? <laughs> and I had to walk. walk. Yeah, I had to walk all the way to Wayfar, and I'm like, can I fight these things? I don't know. You know, I didn't know whether I could take six and stuff like that. So I just kind of terrified my way to Wayfar and bought my swoop helm for 500 credits because I thought it was the coolest thing to put on my Trandoshan's head at the time. <laughs> I remember our first, our first, uh, or at least my first trip off planet was uh, Tatooine with Gyron. And we just, we ran around basically shopping, just bouncing around these different shops and like killing little things around. And I think there's like a laser carbine and I didn't have the 8,000 I needed to get it and you bought it for me. And I thought it was like the coolest weapon in the world and, uh, 8,000 credits I did not have. Oh, oh, the I got a I looted a special ops duster off of a uh, swoop gang leader like maybe like day three or day four and somebody wanted to buy it for a hundred credits <laughs> and I'm like no way man I know that's a lot but I'm not gonna sell it <laughs> that was awesome <sighs> good times I, yeah I I remember when I was trying to what what, what were we doing a retuning your weapon when it would have really low. Uh, oh, repairing it. Yeah, and I, when it when it came to it, it uh, when I was trying to repair it, and it says it breaks in your hands, I didn't understand what that meant, and I was like, "Can I use this though?" <laughs> Completely falls apart and disintegrates in your hand. <laughs> you know, as great as most of our uh, most of our memories are of us being noobs, not being able to do things right, not understanding and messing something up completely. <laughs> that guy fighting the bracket set when he th- we, oh, that one guy taking on the bracket set. We saw him like running. And then we saw him running back and like two bracket sets coming out. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, I remember well, going to, uh, Tatooine with, it was, uh, it was our buddy Guinness. It was with, uh, <laughs> it, it was with, uh, Flip and a, yeah. n- another buddy. I think, I think there's two other people, but we went there and we're like, killing, we're grouped up together to kill some womp rats and we're building camps to regen our health after we take one out and, that was fun. That's just like you walk around and two shot these things and you don't even think about it. Well, Gyron, what was your favorite moment though? Do you have you thought of it? My favoritist? Yeah. The favoritist. Way way back in the day when creature handlers with three or four pets and uh plus three faction pets ruled the earth. Me, Loudon, and you guys were camped in that little uh there was the rebel terminal and right across from that there was like a, a guild hall house or something, but you could go in the <laughs> you go in the doorway and they couldn't see you. You wouldn't show up on the radar or anything. And we would just freaking tough ride them and and then we would get killed by their three freaking Kilnicks and, and three rebel commandos or whatever they had, but it was still a lot of fun. Raiding Tyrena yeah. back in the day when you couldn't load in. <laughs> yeah. That sucked. Wait for me guys, or I would load in at the wrong star shuttle port. <laughs> I said shuttle port A. My 256 <laughs> mega RAM won't let me load in any place else. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Uh, everybody loaded in at a certain shuttle port or starport, and you're the only one that shows up at the wrong spot. And you're like, oh my god, I'm I'm uh, I'm over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> over trying to make my way to the to the drop zone. Yeah, most of my my good memories are from uh, pre CU. Just because it was a learning experience and, uh, you know, getting a tough, that was a rush of exper- a rush, you know, and not, uh, not knowing where somebody was at, you know, you didn't know if somebody was out there to gank you and that, all, all that pre-CU stuff was probably uh, where I got 
my most my uh, favorite memories. Who remembers their first time when they were overt, they forgot they were overt, and went running in some place and realized it as they were getting attacked by, like, the opposite faction? Oh, I used to do that all the time, man. I'd be overt, like, at the Rory Rebel Outpost, and then I'd, like, hop on the shuttle back down to uh, to feed, and I'd zone in in front of the feed starport, still overt, and then wake up dead. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd spawn into a starport. How come there's red? Red dots in the starport. <laughs> I actually, I, the first time it happened to me, I was, uh, I flew into Coronet and I was fine. I ran out to a shop, didn't even realize it, came running back in. All of a sudden, a rifleman just drops me. Like, I, like, I, he shot me. I realized what was going on. I turned to run and he, like, hit me and then did the range death blow. And I, I was, it was great. Uh,. All I wanted was a new pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> our dusters. We thought we were so yeah. cool when we had got our dusters. Hmm. Well, yeah, I think cool. uh, my favorite moment was uh, I was a creature handler, and I know Guy remembers this because he was on late at night, and I explained to, to him what happened. Um, I was like four, three, three, four, some, something not quite master, but I knew that you could train rankers. So I spent about two hours, maybe one, and I kept, I found this baby, Ranker, and I had a camp, you know, a scout with, uh, I think it was Master Scout with something else. She had a whole bunch of camouflage. She wouldn't be detected by other, uh, creatures. And I kept on trying to train this, uh, Ranker baby. And I kept on aggroing him, and, and a couple of times I killed a couple of them on accident because they have a little ham, and I was like, crap. So, it took me about two hours, though, to get this baby trained. And then finally, after I saw, you know, the title, A Ranker Baby, go from red to white or gray or whatever it turns to whenever it's your pet, you know, I kind of threw up my arms like I scored a <laughs> touchdown because it was so exciting. I was like, oh, my God, finally, you know, after two hours of trying to train this baby, finally it's mine. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world, having a ranker as your pet. But besides that and having tests for Rush and stuff like that, that, that was probably my uh, favorite moment. You lame creature handler. <laughs> well, it was cool, you know. You kind of a pet. I understand that, you know. It was a pro. You know, you go into a uh, either not a bunker, but you go into a cave or you fight somewhere. And you got all these animals all over the place. It was like Pokemon Wars, and I, I didn't like it so much when I seen other people. But it, it was okay when I was a creature handler, <laughs> you know, because you know. It was great it taking taking creatures and like ATSTs into uh, uh, cantinas. And yeah, pissing well, off all my, the dancers. I, my ATST out, and I had my two grow malls out. <laughs> Pyro, what's uh, what's some of your favorite moments from SWG? Most of mine, really. I just miss walking everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but you've seen a lot more I mean, than you got to walk. I mean, seriously. I mean, who walks anymore? <laughs> no, but it, I mean, it was nice to just look around. There was nothing there. Well, okay. Well, not always. But <laughs> Some places were long trips, but, you know, I, I just, I kind of miss that, where you could just, you know, walk around, do nothing, and still have fun just looking at everything. And those were, those were the greatest times for me, just to be able to sit around. Of course, then there was the first time I ever saw a great dragon and tried to run. <laughs> <laughs> you were able to turn around real quick. <laughs> but um, most, most of what I, I, I just... That's most of what my favorite moments were. We're just taking in the scenery of the AWB, just what it was, because it was something different, and there was so much to see. Just how huge everything was. You know, the planets were enormous, and you could just run forever, you know, before the houses were everywhere, and just be out in nature, and I'm getting misty-eyed. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the first time when I quit, when I originally quit the game, uh, what I did is, like, for the... The week before I quit, I refused to use a vehicle, and I just ran everywhere. And for you, there's no reason for it. I just wanted to experience that one more time before I quit. But luckily, I came back. Darth, what about you? What are some of your favorite memories of the game? I was, uh, the time that I was playing the game that I was having the most fun was back at... Uh, I, I, the Rory Rebel Outpost wasn't there at release. They added that sometime later on during the summer. And I remember that there was this, uh, 
bug slash exploit where you could go to the Rebel Mission Terminal and get two missions, and then you could just kind of stand there, and the missions would spawn automatically out and around, and somebody else could go out there and kill them, and you'd get paid, and you'd get the faction for blow up, for it blowing up. <laughs> and so everybody was doing that, and so there were like hundreds of people running missions, out of the uh, out of the Rory Rebel outpost, and so the cantina was packed. There was docks there, uh, you know, and uh, and and the place was just littered. It was sur- surrounded with other people's mission spawns, and so you just ran out, hit tab, and started shooting. And uh, and you know you, you you couldn't swing a dead cat without tripping over you know somebody <laughs> else's mission spawn. And it didn't matter if you blew up somebody else's mission because. You know, they were getting faction and credit for it too. So, um, and then every now and again, an ATST would storm the compound and wipe everybody out because that was back <laughs> when they were indestructible. And the, uh, whatever the gemstone was that you need to craft a T21 hadn't spawned on Bria yet. So, you know, every, nobody had a weapon that could do blast damage to, to take out, to take one out. Um, and so, you know, you had like, you know, 20 man groups of noobs all with, uh, you know, each had, you know, their three commando, the three rebel commandos and, you know, two missions. And so you'd take these, you know, humongous teams out into the swamp surrounding the outpost and just lay waste. And it was in it constantly, you know, and if you die, you clone, you go back and get in a couple of missions and you go right back out and join your group. And, uh, yeah, that, that, that was the high point of the game for me, I think. Part of it was being a noob um, and still learning the game, um, but you know, part of it was also because you know there were so many people doing the exact same thing. You know, it was just, just built-in camaraderie kind of stuff. Flip remembers when uh, we were doing something with uh, missions where they were you'd take your mission and you'd run out to the mission waypoint and it would disappear, and then <laughs> then you get you get the money for it. You know. You'd, Get the fifteen hundred credits. <laughs> Didn't we do that a number of times out from uh, Tyrena? Yeah. And I thought two K was great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got money now. Remember when they nerfed down missions? Like they were paying two K, then they nerfed them down, so they were only paying like eight hundred, and we're all like, "No, how are we supposed to make money?" Yeah. Well, that that reminds me of on Dathmir. What were those uh, creatures that you get ten K for? Yes, Biznatch. And people were doing those because they were, what were they, low leveled or something? You can kill, kill their nest or something really quick. Oh, you can run in there and just. You can blow the nest up. Death. Yeah. There's like something where like if you stood right yeah, in the that's middle why they of raised. the, of the um layer, you could just hit it and they wouldn't attack you or something. Good money. Good money. Yes. <laughs> All right, taking down a giant dune chemo with the shoulder-fired rocket launcher. <laughs> that was awesome. awesome. I have screenshots of that, too. That's that's what we need. We need that frickin' animation back. Because it just looked cool. It looks like a little law frickin' surface-to-air rocket. Put your flamethrower down, go on one knee. <laughs> <laughs> the times that it hit, you know, most of the time. I mean, I did have a rocket chase some guy, like, around the, uh, like, around a corner in PvP. That was hilarious. It's one of those smart I was, rockets. I know. It was a bunker buster. All right. That would have gone right through the wall. Forget about going around the corner. I'm going through it. That's right. Maybe that'll be in the expertise tree. Bunker busting? Bunker base busting. Don't you have to bring bases back first? No. Okay. Just Imperials. <laughs> they get it. That's right. All right. Well, oh, Cactus re- reminded me of something real quick. The knockdown dizzy. I mean, you try to get back up, you fall back down. I love that as a TKA. <laughs> you know, it was so funny to do that to the NCP. I love that the or first time you do that to somebody and they don't know what's going on. <laughs> Why can't I get up? I didn't know what was going on the first time I did it to an N- to an NPC. I'm like, Unarmed knockdown. What does this do? Bam! I knocked him down! I'm like, Guinness, come here! <laughs> I'm gonna knock him down! And wasn't there a time where they broke it? 
And it didn't work for a and while. And they didn't and get back up. They It was like med call. <laughs> <laughs> they fall and they can't get up. Yeah. Those are good times. Good times indeed. You know what pissed me off more than anything is when people would uh, people would stack Pistolier and uh, Fencer in, with their with, like insanely high dodge rates. I remember oh, one time. Stacking. Well, I remember one time me and you went after a guy and like it was the two of us and we were both you know higher up at that point and we were trying to attack him. We could not hit him. We thought he was exploiting or something. He kept killing us. It was investing. We kept running back. He kept killing us. We never once hit him. And it was like, I think he killed us three or four times before we finally said, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that anymore. Like a ghost. Oh, man. Maybe he's a Jedi. <laughs> Get on the saber block. All right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move us along into the com link, and we'll get back. We'll start uh, sharing some other people's stories about their favorite moments, and then when we do that, we can uh, we can kind of chime in with our own, you know, stuff that we remember too as we go through their stuff. Like Guinness kiting anchor <laughs> Oh my god, he gosh. still talks about start that. with him. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into those good stories too. <laughs> so who, Pyro? You have a Jedi, right? Uh yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> expertise tree. What are you thinking? That, that's the com link this week. They they decided to share the expertise tree. Happy? Yeah. Unhappy? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I remember somewhere somebody said something about um we won't be giving anything up to get it back in the expertise <laughs> trees, and I'm still a little um not very happy about that. At least they uh, came Jedi right out. Cry, baby, you already had your revamp. <laughs> <laughs> At least they no, came they... out the same day and said that you know what we messed up. We should have communicated that part better. No, you, they should have done. They should have done bounty hunter first. That's what they should have done. Yeah, but even that now everybody's <laughs> but everybody's gonna lose something. I can see it now. No. Well, really, the way I look at it, like what could smugglers lose? <laughs> yeah. You have well, to think, smuggle now. I think people, you know, the level 90 Jedis feel that they didn't really get anything new. Well, there, you, are, you, there are new parts to it. Here's the thing. You can only have so many, so many different kinds. You're going to have, like, your attack, your defense moves, your buffs, and your debuffs. Now, if you brought in the expertise tree and, and everything was better than what you currently had, then you would just, you'd have no use for all your other moves, and you just use the stuff out of the expertise tree. Right. I, I'm just saying it's a mixed bag, because I, I understand what you're saying. I understand what people that are trying to fight for something new, but being that I'm a level 90 Jedi as well, you know, I I kind of, like, I was looking more for some, I, and I know we got our revamp, like, in published 27, but that was a little while ago, and so I kind of forgot about that. I put that in the past. And now <laughs> when the expertise system came out, I was looking for something new. And nothing really was – I mean, there's like hatred, fear, or, or there's a few n- new things in there. But I'm not going to argue too much because it, it's going to make us different from other Jedi. But not as different as a Master Enhancer, Master Powers, and between a difference between that and the difference between – Master Defender, Master Sabres. And that was completely different back then. Cry baby. We said different like six or seven times. Was it different? It was a little different. Not not as similar. <laughs> you know that So they weren't the same. <laughs> <laughs> there was something yeah. Something wasn't quite right. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I was just kinda of bothered that I, you know, I had, you know, now that I've got burst run, now it's something that's on the expertise tree, and I was like, well, I already, I, D- I just got that. respect the commando. You know, you no, want to. my this, I, I unlocked Jedi before you could buy it as a starter kit or whatever. So I, I, you know, I took a long Fine. road to get him. I'm not going to change him. You know, he's my first Free published nine. Yeah. Um, not, not quite. It was uh, a really village. Did that 4x oh, XP we got after the CU help out at all? I, I mean, I did knock down a couple of the, the, you know, when you read your holocron and it told you your next profession. I got through three of them. But when it told me that I had to do master bioengineer, I was like, okay, forget that. <laughs> I tried bioengineering. It, like, took forever. No, one line took forever. 
<laughs> so, but I did it. I did it uh, the really uh, village style, and having uh, I think something happened on Bloodfin where they gave us four times the experience, and that kind of helped out too. Because the conversion rates got uh, the multiplier on them too at the village. Yeah. When they were doing the double experience. Uh, did you guys on Bloodfin are you the ones that got like the uh, the special gold bordered combat no, upgrade? No, that was Brea, I think. Uh, no, it wasn't us. <laughs> no, Corbanus. No, no uh, it was the Brits. It was the British servers. It, the Screw European the, what, servers. Because they had yeah. to hold back all the way to the beginning yeah, of well, time. Yeah, I remember there was like one server that, like, when they did the combat upgrade, just they just couldn't bring it back up for like a week or whatever. <laughs> Uh, I remember back then, and it sucked. <laughs> Everything that you did was just erased for two weeks or whatever. Not that long, but I'm just saying, it's like, oh my god, I forgot. I, where I just bought something. I was it I like two days? It. Well, that's what makes me think that the people who want to roll back are not quite phrasing it right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean two weeks. I was just I know going overboard, but I'm just saying that. You know, you you bought some, and you you maybe mastered a profession, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta do that again. And back then, it was something. Right. Those were strange days. We really got off the expertise tree there, didn't we? Kind of. You know what I'd like to do? I'd I'd like to put this out there to everyone who's who's like really angry about the expertise tree, like the Jedi one. And how would you have done it? Post on our forums. I want to know, how would you have broken it down? What kind of new moves would you have brought in that would have worked with the existing moves? Like, like, how could you, what would you have done differently? Are, are they allowed to use the word rollback? No. <laughs> no, no rollback. But how would you work it in, kind of like similar to what they showed us the expertise trees are going to look like? How would you have worked it in? What kind of moves are you talking about? You want new moves. What kind of moves would you, you have liked to have seen? Flame single two. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just I just want to see, you know, there's a lot of people who are upset, but I, I don't think they totally realize, like, there's only so many moves you can have in the game. And Warcry, Warcry. <laughs> <laughs> I want Warcry 2. What's On our hit right? 3. So who's surprised by the look of the expertise tree? Well, the images that they gave us, is that what we're going to get when we look, uh, if we were to go to a respect, uh, NC, NPC, uh, and want to al- reallocate our, uh, um, expertise? Yeah, I mean, it, looked like, it looked like that was stuff from in-game, but I don't know. I wasn't particularly surprised. I mean, I guess with the content, but the layout or the format looked, I mean, approximately what I was expecting. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, exactly, and that's what they were chasing, So, and we, and we knew that's what they were chasing, so... Yeah, I, 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 was, I wasn't surprised. If it had been a whole lot different from that, I guess I would have been surprised. <laughs> problem is, WoW gets terribly, terribly boring after about six months. Unless you're in a 40-man raid group. Doesn't but, matter, you can... How many times can you freaking raid Molten Core? Honestly. Hey, you know what? The guy comes in every friggin' day telling me about his four hours of raiding from the night before. I guess you but can do he, it every friggin' day. But he uses that time not talking to other people, freaking not going outside. <laughs> not interacting with anybody. <laughs> Except for his guildmates. Well, no, that... We, we, I don't know. It's like it's like we're afraid of the expertise tree. We have to keep jumping away from it. Jumping away. I don't know. I mean, I, I hope what they've done with like the, with putting in the expertise tree is that I, I just pray to God that like underneath that, behind the scenes, you know, under the hood, they made a system flexible enough that like say if they wanted to, they could with relative ease go in and you know add more stuff to it without having to you know completely scrub the game again. <laughs> That uh-huh. would be nice. You know, it'd be good if it was expandable, you know, or modifiable or customizable. They could go ahead and add stuff to it as we move over, as we move forward. Well, you think they'd almost have to leave it a bit open ended with uh, the Galactic Civil War tree that'd like to add to it. Yeah. Which I I don't know if I'm a big fan of a PvP style tree, and I don't know. It, it seems kind of odd to me. <laughs> but I well, guess I, I read I read a post. Um, I'm not going to quote it. But I remember reading the post, because they gave us 45 points in the expertise 
Is that in any uh, profession, or is it just Jedi? There are. As long as I know it's any. Yeah. Okay, for any, you get 45. At level 90, when, uh, I think somebody, maybe on Test Center or something, they, or no, they just counted it up as what they gave us on, uh, um, the Friday feature, and they counted up 43 points that they already had, and they can only use two more at a level 90. And, um, Crap, I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> well, yeah, but you can respec away from that and pick different specializations or whatever. And you know, they're, you know they're going to open it up and give you, like, I don't know, five oh, free respecs. right, right. What I was going to, I, I remember, I was going to, I was going to say that w- when they posted that, one of the devs, and I, like I said, I can't quote it, they say they may up the 45 points a little more. They may, but it's a, it's a really far possibility. Well, Helios made yeah, a good point about that. Diversity. That's the, that was the whole point. They wanted diversity, you know. Right, and, and if you give if you give them too many that. points, and everyone just starts ending up being the same. Everyone's gonna be spamming sinister strike and backstab in about three weeks. Right, and that's what they yeah. they didn't want everybody to be the same again. So, but they said that it might be a possibility, but they didn't say when. Yeah, I think originally they were supposed to like what three trees, and then they said that they're taking the GCW centered tree out of everything and doing that later, and so everyone's only getting two trees to begin with, or something like that. So right, um, uh, but they did say that that if, I think originally when they told us there were going to be three trees, that any player could have like one and a half trees, one, one and a half you know branches yeah. of the tree or whatever it was. So, so maybe when they bring in the third tree, then they'll up the number of points so we can play around with it more, but yeah. until well, then leave them lower. There's the general and there's the path. Is is the uh, GCW supposed to be a separate where you can use other points for that, or is it going to be uh, unknown? Okay. And though that's probably it's probably going to be similar across all of them because aren't they going to roll that out all at once like the Galactic Civil War branches? I thought yeah, I saw yeah. something. So they're they're probably going to be very similar. I can see them being much different. A couple different, you know, class specific moves, but. I wouldn't mind if it was like, you know how a pilot, you have your own set of, you have your own, uh, like when the old pre-CU or whatever, you had your own branch and pilot, you didn't have to use your own uh, points from your, your uh, you know, to be a TKA. Yeah, it was on a different rifleman. skill. Right, and you could use up different system. points. It'd be nice maybe if for... There was really no GC- skill point system. For the GCW, it was set different, so you could PvP or, you know, for the GCW. Rather than have to take away from your main player, um, his expertise. I have to wait and see. As always. So, I'll go across the board. Thumbs up, thumbs down, or you're gonna wait and see for the expertise. Flip? I'm gonna wait and see, cause I feel it's a mixed bag, cause I understand on both hands what people are, you know, people are bitching. And then also people are like, well, you know, we already got our stuff in, uh, Published 27, but I'm going to wait and see. I think the big thing before we completely call them out for lying about that and it be more than just miscommunication is see what happens with the bounty hunter expertise tree. And if it's just moving all the bounty hunter skills over, then you then you can really let them have it. But, Gyron, thumbs up, thumbs down? i got to agree with you on this one. It's hard to base it just on one profession's not possibly totally completed trees. You know, I'm kind of disappointed. I was kind of hoping to see a lot more stuff that were that was in Powers and Enhancer and stuff like that. Something that would make me almost consider going back to Jedi. But now, I don't know. Wait and see. We'll see what it says about Bounty Hunter. Most importantly, we'll see what it does with Commando, and then we can uh, have a whole other show about Commando. <laughs> oh, we hate Commandos. <laughs> Pyro. Uh, I, I'm gonna wait and see. Um, you know, it, to one point it does seem a lot of the same old, same old. They say one thing, do another, but we'll see if they actually meant what they said that, you know, the BH stuff is gonna be new. But, you know, some of the trees that I would have liked to have seen some other skills too, but, eh, we'll see what they come up with. Any in particular that you think of right off the top of your head? Nothing right off the top of my head, but... Well, I can think of something. I, forced push. That'd be nice to see. Yeah. You don't have anything similar to that now, or...? Well, that, that'd probably require a knockdown, which they don't want to get into. 
Dizzy knockdowns. And Sush, your thoughts on it real quick. Two thumbs up for making the Jedi cry. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, beyond that, uh, I mean, you know, wait and see what they do with it next. Uh, you know, I'm not a bounty hunter either, so uh, I'll be interested to see what they do with that, uh, you know, next week. And then, uh, you know, uh, I play an officer on my main, so I guess I'm, you know, looking at, like, maybe Labor Day or Halloween, so. Next year. <laughs> hey, is there anything derogatory you want to call the Jedi? Uh, crybabies. That's all I gotta say. I've been calling the Jedi crybabies since day one. Oh, Thanks. Man. It's nice to know I'm a crybaby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure somebody out there has like a you know niece or a nephew who's a baby that cries and they're offended now. At least they'll get us some posts and on the forums and keep our keep so. us bumped up. I'm offended. I'm used to getting nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see, where are we at? We have Friday feature. It's very 4th of July-ish. Oh, the fireworks? Yes. Flip. Did you know <laughs> that you're a useless crafter? <laughs> Wait, I, I, I want to see the crafting ex- expertise trees. Yeah, well, they're coming with, with like the entire crafter revamp, so, you know. Oh, that's... What so is, it, what is, is there really going to be trader expertise trees? Because what the hell are they going to look like? And it, that doesn't, I'm not grasping what the hell, like it doesn't seem like it's going to make any sense. What are you, like you're going to put know. points into like experimentation? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. At this point, I point complete speculation, but I think that thing they're going to, what they're probably going to do is, uh, do that thing where they're going to separate all the, you know, arbitrary combinations they made. And let you let part Take of you own. being able to pick which which crafting trades you actually want to master is part of your expertise progression. Uh, see, that would be a lot. They, they like, don't like, even for need example, expertise. Like the, 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 the trader profession becomes like artisan and merchant, and everybody gets that. And then beyond that, you you know would then have to pick your expertise. And so there won't be a weaponsmith profession, but there will be several trees of weapon crafting expertise, perhaps. I don't know. They haven't told us anything, but if I had to guess the direction that they were going, that would make sense to me. Well, from what I've heard from certain people, that is the way that they were planning on doing the expertise trees for that. I just hope they fix the schematics first. Yeah, yeah well, they, you know, that's, you know, we got some folks working on that, too, so... What schematics are you talking about uh, particularly? All I'm talking about like any of them. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> well, I, I just wanted to hear what they were. Especially the looted ones, you know. Look how long we had to wait for those to be fixed. It'd be nice to throw pillows and. Or, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like the ones that we loot, they say you have to have this profession, but if they do the revamp and then not fix the schematics to go with the revamp, then we're all messed up again. Like yeah, the exactly. campfire schematic in days of old. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I remember just sitting around campfires, having fun, talking to my friends. <sighs> well, that was kind of fun, even though they were meaningless and you can only really heal fatigue or whatever it was back then. It was kind of fun because it gave you a chance to sit back and talk for a second before you went to go fight again. Hey, it gave so us a chance just, to play our slither horns. You just sat around talking and that was fun? <laughs> Well, it seemed fun. I don't know. It was a new game at that time, and I don't know. It was just kind of – there was nothing about it that Stop was Stop defending yourself. It's okay. I love camping, man. It was fun. I know. People used to do that to Lord Knox all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's okay, slow I tonight. I remember uh, when me and you would go out to Lord Knox, and we'd go fight his little cronies getting down on steps and stuff like that. And every yeah. once in a great while, one of his, I don't know if it was a low-level crony or whatnot, but it'd take us down with one shot, and we'd be like, damn, we got to go clone and go do again. I know. what you freaking walk out. Or no, this was back when we just had uh, the, what was it? Uh, I named it Joust. What was the thing that you tamed for me? Wasn't that a... Uh, uh, Carrying spat, probably? Yes. Uh, thank you. It had... It was either a carrying spat or a cadu. Carrying that spat. was awesome. Yeah, I named it Joust for you. I still have him. Yep. So we don't care about the Friday feature that much, do we? Not Fireworks really, package, if you want to make them, go see it. <laughs> or go see how to do it. Yeah, if you don't know about fireworks, then you probably don't care. 
<laughs> at this point. I mean, really. It's fun. Kind of goes with the theme of the Fourth of July. So. What theme of Fourth of July? Fireworks. It's not really a theme. It's not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, for the morning, the loss of the colonies is more like it. <laughs> <laughs> Eat us, Brits. I shouldn't have said that. I apologize. That's okay. Now you've offended the entire British population. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted, if I wanted to offend them, I would, I would just say, you know, way to go, Portugal. Put a three-one ass kicking on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I don't care about European soccer <laughs> football. I don't that's either, that's, but I know, but hey, it's hey, good to hey. be able to taunt people. And I know, three-one. England lost. <laughs> Three and one in a shootout. <laughs> Tony Blair has big ears. <laughs> oh. I'm feeling better now. You are? Glad yeah. to hear that. Well, Ooh. if we're going to move on with the Friday feature, the scramble was kind of left in the air. Thunderheart left the office without giving anybody uh, a win. But somebody did mention uh, it looked like it was correct. Uh, uh, Stecker wrote. Uh, well, this is supposed to be the winning version. I, I don't know if it is or not, but it looked pretty close. And uh, um, supposedly what I'm guessing going to be the unscrambled version is uh, uh, between 3PO Han and Leia. And it is this quote, uh, they did it. I'm sure Luke wasn't on that thing when it blew. He wasn't. I can feel it. You love him, don't you? Yes. All right. I understand. Fine. When he comes back, I won't get in the way. Oh, no, it's not like that at all. He's my brother. So th- that's what I think is supposed to be the winning unscrambled Scramble Friday feature. I still think you should be the one reading the books uh, during the pre-show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, and people seem to always forget. Like a Saturday, Saturday matinee, you know, when you see the one of those movies where they uh, you make the hero all of a sudden look like he's going to die in the next, time, next week's matinee comes out and it's like the hero all of a sudden he's not going to die he's hanging onto a branch over a cliff and you're like why he didn't do that you see him fall or something but it's like that where you seen luke kiss leia and empire strikes back and it's like whoa now they're brother and sister and you know people are like that's kind of you <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's hot if you're from west virginia <laughs> <laughs> sorry west virginia <laughs> They got hillbillies in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. We need some new Taylor schematics that are like space overalls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, no. We can't be Uncle Owen, remember? <laughs> That's right. Moisture farming is boring. Uh, I didn't want to be his whiny nephew either. <laughs> <laughs> it runs in the family, though, after watching yeah. episode three. <laughs> Darth Vader being me. Of all the personality traits that you're able to convey as an actor, <laughs> whiny shouldn't be the one to strive for. I can be a whiny bitch, really. Hey, he does it well. <laughs> Has he, have we seen any of his other movies? To did, see? did you? Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back. Did you see him in that one when he did Cockknocker? No. <laughs> <laughs> You, you gotta see, you gotta see that that's him doing that. If he does, he does the whining part and everything. <laughs> Put that on my list of movies to get from Netflix. I saw Troops. Yeah. Corvette Summer. <laughs> All right, should we get into some more reminiscing about SWG? No, let's go back to just silent dead air. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta punch out, guys. It's been, uh, been good talking to you, though. All right, thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to yeah, you yeah. soon. All right, take See, care. Have later. a good Fourth of July. Hey, you too. Happy good birthday, day. America. <laughs> okay, and there he goes. Ben Franklin was awesome. <laughs> I just needed to get that off my chest. George Washington I, I want- did not have wooden teeth. There's my little thing for everybody. They were made of ivory. Ooh. Yes. (laughs) 
I'm trying to bring up Ebony so I can start singing Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> Just can't figure out how to get it to go in there? No, because I don't think anybody would have, like, Ebony I teeth. I don't that know, maybe. Be, uh... Regardless. <laughs> there was nothing crunk back then to to have <laughs> Ebony teeth over it. Fit my teeth. <laughs> this should be a show. It was big in the 1870s. <laughs> Well, as we're talking a little bit about nothing, you guys want to hear what my uh, sound effect is for when I empty my recycle bin? Would it make sure, you happy? Delight- I would be delighted to hear. But then we're going back to, like, reminiscing. Stay on okay, target. well, hold on. Here, here. This is when I empty my re- recycle bin on my desktop. Okay, one second. <laughs> you get that? Yeah. yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Uh, when I log in and all that, I have all, it's all Star Wars stuff. Like That's, when I, I log out of Windows, it's, uh, uh, alright, kid, now let's pull this thing and go home. You know what was the best? When I freaking, uh, when my computer was down and the uh, freak was fixing it, and you were letting me use yours during the day, cause you were at work, and you would <laughs> leave the volume on full, and I would turn it on, and I didn't know that. <laughs> like, oh, and I'm sitting right there, I'm like, what the heck? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That might like, have been one of my favorite Star Wars moments. <laughs> Whoa. I think we're about to lose it up. <laughs> uh, he, he sends Obi-Wan in the Death Star. That little quote, real quick. I turn on my computer. <laughs> yeah, turn it off and turn it back on so they can hear it. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, we had uh, someone who wanted to call in about the expertise trees. We should pull them in before we get too deep into reminis- reminiscing. Too deep into <laughs> uh, is, is he playing something or? Who? Flip. What's that? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to play hey something there. else. Yeah. Hey, we like. Lo- hey there. Yeah. Oh, I was. It's, it's just being really slow. Might want to go out, go on to your next thing. Okay, but. okay, we'll we'll get the we'll get this call going and then we'll do some reminiscing. I'm I'm Reminisc- just making up words, am I? We'll get some reminiscing down. Oh yeah, reminization. It's all getting okay. Hey, came you there? Yeah. How's it going? Good. How's it going with you? Pretty good. So you wanted to talk about the expertise tree, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool, but KOTOR-ish, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Any, can you guys hear me? Like, yeah, we can hear you. So, what are your thoughts? I mean, what what would you have changed if you could change something about it? Well, what I would have changed is I would have made some unique things to it because from what it looks like when I'm reading the uh, comlink is pretty much they just uh, tweaked some of the things that we already had. And if they brought some of the things back, like a void end cap, um, like a force cloak where you can actually move, things like that, uh, that would probably make it a lot better. It would have been- well, actually, the force cloak says you can move limited. Oh really? I didn't see that. Yeah, I got I got the tree up. Um, I was looking at it. It says um, one level. Let me see if I can get the whole thing here. At level, I know like 58, I believe is it'll break combat, but before then it won't break combat. But you can use it to move around. Yeah, here it is. Allocation requires expertise at level 56. Force cloak one one grants. The Jedi invisibility with limited movement for a brief duration. And at level 58, improved force cloak, it allows it to break combat. That's pretty good. That's like the old system. I just hope it, it's not exactly like the old system, though, where you have people cloaking and then they're just walking around like spies are <laughs> now. Spies are great. I love them. I like spies. I just I hate them at the same time. <laughs> You must get killed by him a lot. I don't get killed by him a lot. It's um, they run away a lot. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They run away. 
Yeah, spies are pretty coward profession. Cowardly. Well, oh. they're spies. They should hey. have like, <laughs> There should be like some type of attack from cloak that does extra damage, and maybe you could pick preemptive pocket. strike. Preemptive strike. Yes. <laughs> some type of deadly assassin move. I don't know. I mean, it seems there should be more to spy than just a different form of specials in cloak. Cloak shouldn't define spy. I, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. But we're not talking about spy. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what's one of your favorite moments of SWG? Um, I don't know. There's, there was when uh, I had to walk all the way across Locke to the uh, city of Pompeii, where it was one of Intrepid's first major cities in the beginning of the game. What POI was, was that cool. near? It was near the uh, the big volcano. Oh, oh yeah, way down at the bottom? Oh. Yeah. Uh, and what and I that's found a was, scary place to walk across, too. Well, at the time, you didn't get damaged by the lava on that. I, I don't think you still do, but on Lost Party, you do. It's not the lava. It's the creatures back then. Well, yeah, but still, I was, like, walking on the lava. I'm right. Like, I'm not getting damaged. And then there'd be creatures you can attack in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> didn't really make much sense. The good days of being afraid of stuff. <laughs> I want to be afraid of stuff again in the game. I was afraid of swoop gangs. <laughs> what the hell? They used to, what the hell they used to cat- jack me all the time. Dire cats. Yeah. Oh man, those things like I would I would go like a hundred I don't know a couple hundred meters away from them trying uh, don't aggro don't aggro don't aggro. Dude, I I was in camp by Dunnies. <laughs> you were there. I know. You know what's know. also funny is that when you blow up their nest, it explodes as if you put a grenade in there. How else are you gonna blow it up? Well, right, but you're hitting it. You know, back back in the day, you're you know TKA or it's standard protocol you're fighting at it. to wire a dunny nest with C4. But you didn't do that though. You didn't it's wire. You didn't throw a grenade, and it blows up with an explosion after you're hitting it with your hands or something. This is kind of funny. It'd been nice though if they would have made it a little different. You know, you took out the creatures, whatever, and then to take out the nest, maybe. You had to actually use a function to blow the nest up so it looked, you know, when it looked like it blew up like an explosion. Like those, uh, like the, uh, chapter, or not chapter, like the Dr. Vaca quest when you set the timer to blow up the base. I right. thought that was really cool. Right, because that know, would yeah. make mm-hmm. sense why it blew up the way, the way the nests do. Well, I mean, I'm not, yeah, you're not obviously it's not like set. It's not like the Dunnies the harvested don't have a, a whole bunch of, yeah, it's not like the Dunnies harvested a whole bunch of grenades accidentally in their nest and you hit it with your rifle. You don't they know. Might have. You don't know. They could be they could be massive munitions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here here we go. Uh, I got my uh, wave files uh, for when I start my windows and exit windows if, you, if we can play those right now. Okay, you play those. We have Okay, a this is my When I start windows, this is what I believe scared uh Gyron because I had it turned up full full notch. So, one second. Okay, now you gotta take. That's you gotta. <laughs> that's no, scary. Well, it's, it's like seven scary. in the morning, and it's on eleven. <laughs> I mean, just think of it as you know, you get your friends. You know, you're at high school, and your friends turn up your car radio full blast on you. And, on it, you know, on purpose, because they're fooling around with you, because it's, you graduate, or something, and... No, my friends would push, like, a Volkswagen Beetle into the neighbor's freaking swimming pool, right? <laughs> <laughs> the you, turn car, you turn your car on, the volume is full blast, and you're like, oh my god, what the hell? My friends like me, they didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, are you... I must have friend confused with something else, like Nemesis. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and then uh, when I exit windows, this is what I got. There you go. You're a fanatic. <laughs> no, I just, I, you know, I, you know, I'm just customizing my computer. You know, fanatic. I think that fits. All right, Kim. Is there anything else you want to talk about with the expertise trees or uh, reminiscing with us? Um, I just want to say the one thing I do like, though, even though it's kind of like Kotor, is that they're given like a little role-playing balance for the Jedi. Even though, if you notice, they didn't uh, say anything about bounty hunter expertise yet. 
Right, that's next Friday. We get, we have to wait a week to see that. Yeah, but that's the one that's supposed to have new content the most. I know. Well, you know what? I they probably like put this out and after and seeing how they react, another week to think of something. Yeah. <laughs> or like, okay, I have better change stuff. Uh, yeah. The art department is good most of the time. They know what except for that Mando sword. <laughs> and the Mandalorian help that thing's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a clip-on flashlight. <laughs> well, Isn't that pretty seems much seems what a lightsaber seems. is? No. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I, would, I know, you, you're going to have to do that There's one more so time. There's for that. Yeah, but not, 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 not approved mods. I mean, a lot of the stuff you see from, like, Jedi yes. Academy, I mean, that... That's and just that's fan exactly stuff. That's my point. Of an approved one that came through for the rest of the event, it, it looks stupid. That was approved, too. It does look... Yeah, exactly. I share your pain. <laughs> I'm not even Jedi. I don't even have a Jedi tune anymore, and I share your pain. I mean, they could have just made them cool looking like the curved the curved lightsaber and like some of the uh, double-bladeds. I like the double-bladed. Yeah, maybe a double-bladed kind of cool. hilt for once. A saber whip. One. <laughs> a saber whip. sweet. <laughs> Hold it up. You you can find that somewhere. Those things actually existed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they actually existed in the make believe Star Wars universe. In the in the, <laughs> in the EU. EU. The... <laughs> what about a curved double bladed lightsaber? <laughs> All I've seen are the flexible bladed sabers, which were like whips, and the regular <laughs> lightsabers. I hadn't seen anything else. That'd be cool though. Or a grappling hook. <laughs> I just think grappling hooks are cool. Could use that I'm for climbing up the cliffs. Here. That's right. All right, Kane, we're gonna let you go now. So, thanks for calling in. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. I'm gonna share one of the stories that was emailed to me, and Gyron, I think you're gonna appreciate this one. Just have to find it here. I appreciate everything. In the meantime, can I just say no one else likes grappling hooks? I mean, just in general. No, grappling hooks are cool. You're fine. I would start the. Okay. Yeah, it's not like some stupid thing that you normally come up with. It's actually it's cool. <laughs> no, what would we do with it though? <laughs> no, I just mean you climbing you know, cliffs really... when collision detection gets placed in. That's right. I had a grappling hook in freaking uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark for Atari. <laughs> there was a grappling hook, and ever since then it was six sprites. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I share the story now? This one's unless dedicated you to, to you. Then you should, yes. Unless you want to hear me wax poetically more about the grappling hook. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is Moya the Wookiee. I play on Intrepid. The thing I love most about SWG is being a Wookiee. I'm a role player, and I delight that most of my fellow players now accept me as a Wookiee instead of a human playing the Wookiee. Ah, got to move that. Okay. Only with a game like SWG, if that level of role-playing is really possible. All they see is the tune, and once they accept it as me, then the transformation is complete. I I operate a non-profit organization on my server called the Wookiee Cultural Center. The WCC <laughs> has five Wookiee museums. Each and every one has been built and operated entirely through the generosity of my fellow players. They have donated millions of credits and all sorts of artifacts so that I can create the museums for everyone on the server. To see, each and every player who have donated, visited my museum, or supported me in any way has made this game fun for me. I want to thank them all. Check out the WCC website at wookiecenter.home.mindspring.com. I finally want to wish SWG and all of Intrepid a happy third anniversary. Free Kashyyyk. I thought you'd appreciate that one, Gyron. I hate Wookie so much. <laughs> Are you going to donate to the WCC? <laughs> No, I'm going to donate to the Anti, <laughs> to the Trandoshan Fund for Wookiee Bondage. You need to create one. That's I've been inspired by that post. What are you going to call it? I call it Gyron's Sell Wookiees into Bondage <laughs> Fund and possibly skim off the top to get a Mandalorian uh, <laughs> Bracer Fund. <laughs> No, that's awesome. I think role-playing is one of the 
things that's keeping a lot of people playing because it's actually fun. Even if you're terrible at it, like Freak, <laughs> who sits in the cantina and, and cries. <laughs> no that's one's a, talking to me. It's not role playing, that's real life. <laughs> I'm actually I, sobbing at that point. You're actually sobbing. You got a couple of drinks, work was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody hate me? They called me in just to tell me that I was doing a terrible thing. <laughs> okay, okay, so maybe that's not so much role play. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna move on. Another story. Unless anyone, you know, if anyone feels free, wants to jump in and share anything, feel free. Cause that, that's what we're here for. Okay. I like, uh, Ben Franklin. He was really cool. You watched that thing on the History Channel tonight, didn't you? I did, I did. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the fact that you watched it or the fact that I knew that it was on for you to... You were watching open. it too. Actually, I, I didn't get to watch it. I watched some of the President show that was on earlier in the day. I saw the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it before. Yeah, I've seen it when it was freaking first out too. So don't yeah. try to out History Channel. <laughs> we're both That's losers, okay? Cool. I know. <laughs> we're not getting. We're not getting any freaking. Yeah, the girls have disconnected from the feed now. All the Asian ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All the hot Asian chicks that normally listen. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. A guilty, my wife and I headed out to Death Watch Bunker one day on a whim, pre-CU. None of us had ever been there yet and wanted to check the place out. When we get there, we head in and immediately run into a super battle droid that promptly kills me. It's a smuggler <laughs> pistol, pistolier, and my wife, who's a doctor creature handler. My friend manages to escape, loses his bike to an AOE from the super battle droid, and starts running back to the smuggler's outpost on foot. He hated to die with the super <laughs> battle droid in hot pursuit. My wife and I resurrected back at a, at a player-packed smuggler's outpost and waited for him to show up. Chatting in guild chat about how fast the droid killed us and healing our ham, after a few minutes, our friend yells in chat that the super battle droid is still on his tail and he is 4, 4K out from the outpost. We couldn't believe that it followed him and he is surviving that long. After he traveled another 1K, he said it might be a good idea to warn folks that he might be bringing it <laughs> into the station in the runner high. <laughs> So we become the unofficial town criers, yelling out our friend is now less than, well, I think it was 250 or 2,500 meters. <clears throat> oh, wow. Out and has a super battle droid in tow and to run and hide in the buildings. Of course, we get the typical kitty responses. Yeah, right. BS. They don't follow that long. You're lying. No one can outrun them. <laughs> we continue to yell and give updates on how close he is. Okay, he's less than 2K and out and now. Ugh. Now and it is still following him. Run while you can, and what and the while all the while ugh, I cannot read. Getting yelled at, cursed at, and made fun of until they saw the red dot approach the station on the radar screens. <laughs> Suddenly the mood drastically changed from jeering to fear and panic. Holy crap! Here it comes. <laughs> WTF? Tell him to go somewhere else. Wait, I'm not buffed. <laughs> He made it into town, and we attacked with a super battle droid and proceeded promptly to kill all the players, us included, still around in every NPC in town. It stayed and fought everyone in town. My wife rezzed, healed, and buffed while every other PC and NPC attacked it. This went on for 15 to 20 minutes before it must have realized it was way too far from its lair and ran out of there with barely half its ham gone. <laughs> the only ones standing were the three of us, broke armor and almost black ham bars. Everyone else lay there dead. <laughs> Uh, that might have been my favorite SWG moment. Ah, that's from Baron that's Juju. That's awesome. That reminds me of what the Genosian Caves when that first came out. And, uh, people were kind of grinding away at the Genosians at the top layer, um, before you actually go in through the first, uh, door. And, you know, if you're, if you did get far enough down, you'd have, uh, some of the, uh, uh, NCPs attacking you and stuff like that. And if you felt like you couldn't take it anymore, you'd run before you died. And, Everybody that was killing all the Genosians up at the top layer, you know, you're coming up with all that red following you, and they kill everything on this path, and everybody be sending you hate tells. Oh, that's right. I remember those days. Those freaking mutant Kelnicks, force-sensitive Kelnicks. And that's actually the place where we figured out that if you crawled, they wouldn't see you. <laughs> we crawled through the whole thing. I Crawl. have screenshots of, like, four or five of us crawling. Aggro, aggro them. This is when you could only be level 80, not 90. Or was it before we even got in the levels? No, like this, that. Was, this was, uh... Was that before? Yeah. 
Okay. But that was funny because you, as long as you were crawling, they wouldn't aggro you. You know, they could only see hip and above. Yeah, I have like a screenshot of it. I was like, uh, I typed out like, is this really working? <laughs> like, yeah, that was the first time we faced the Ackley. Good times. Yeah, yes. Okay, I'm going to try to get a call in here now. Just wait and see if Cactus is ready. I'll give him a call. I don't care. We'll find out, won't we? Show now. You know it. It's ringing. Almost there. Cactus, you there? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Can you hear us? You can hear me? We can hear you. Let me kill the feed. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, great. My wife just... Hold on. Darn, darn wife. <laughs> Oh, man, that's when you got to put the back of your hand to the table in anger. <laughs> what is she doing? Mm. Uh, my wife says I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> and she just got home from drinking. Woo-hoo. Sweet. So I'm sure you have a memory to share with us. What do you have for us this week? Actually, my... My favorite memory of playing actually comes back from beta when they first allowed in the uh, the expert level stuff, you know, like BE, Ranger, and all that, because we, we kept doing the lower level ones because that's all you could do. And I remember the first day I logged in after that, uh, I was a Tradotion, I was running around, pist- you know, trying out the, the Pistoler stuff, and I get this, hey, come over here, you! I'm like going, oh, okay. Guy goes, watch this. And you see him kneel and poke at, uh, uh, one of the lizards in town, cause this was an ice lane. He goes, boop. So if I do this enough, it'll die. <laughs> do it. And he does it like three times and he, and literally the thing goes, boop. and I'm like going, well, how'd you kill it? You didn't have a weapon. You didn't do anything. He says, I'm a BE. I sampled it to death. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, that's weird and cool all at the same time. <laughs> and then he goes, I got another one. I hear that we can sample Jabba's Rancor. And I'm like going, cool. And he says, let's go. Let's so go. we walk from like Isley all the way up to Jabba's <laughs> for him to go go down there and find out that, yeah, after we did all the missions and stuff that he could get that far away, you could walk up to Jabba's Rancor and sample it. It wouldn't die, but you could sample it. Well, I didn't. I never knew that. I don't remember when they fixed that, but that was that was the coolest. That that just flat out, you know, new to the game. Everybody's learning everything. Dude, come here! I don't care who you are. Just come here. Watch this. <laughs> uh, but, uh, That's great. That's my story, and oh, uh, cause, cause we may still be online. Penty, somebody thought of you, by. <laughs> <laughs> Your name was mentioned in the show. You may now. Go Portugal! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and England lost. That sucks. I did get a great hat, though. My sister showed up with a great, with the, with the great baseball cap. There. Oh, thank you, by the way, to Freak for the, the baseball cap for helping out on the wiki, and I'm sure that anybody else that wants to get out and do some more stuff on the bug wiki, he'll be happy to pretend like he likes you too. <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate what you do. You spend a lot of time, you know, cleaning stuff up and taking care of that. So, thank you very much for what you put into that. Everybody out, get out and work on the bug wiki and find the more broken stuff and send us in. Yes, yes. Thanks, guys. You all have a great weekend. You too. All right. Should we go on to another story? I like stories. Can you guys keep going? Anyone tired? I mean, <laughs> can we keep going? So we're like an hour and a half into the show now. It's like, no, I'm done. I'm <laughs> I finished all of it. I'm out of here. <laughs> Where are you going? What? Okay, I guess I wasn't. It's like the after show is melded into the, the regular show, so... 
It's a special three. This the three hour edition. This, one right. one hour for every year of SWG. Show revamp for over a year. <laughs> no. Okay. Next Hold story. On the second day of the game, June 27, 2003, me and a group of scouts went out into the dangerous wilderness of Tatooine. It was getting a little creepy out with the suns going down, but we pushed on eager to explore the vast depths of Tatooine. After wandering the desert for a few hours, we set up camp in the pitch black night. It was really dark back then. The camp torches lit up the surrounding blackness at night. We felt safer, for the moment at least, but in the distance we knew many untold danger lay ahead of us. We were all sitting around the campfire under the beautiful twinkling stars, telling our stories to one another. We sat there for well over 30 minutes, sharing our stories, crafting food, listening to entertainers, and making scout traps, when all of a sudden a bunch of greater womp rats started running towards us in great numbers. I remember one poor soul who got so scared at the sight of the womp rats, he took off running in the late night. I found his corpse later that night. Something must have got him. <laughs> and that was from Akia on Ozzy. You ever, does it ever bother you that the people that write it or, uh, you know, send stuff in are a lot more eloquent than us? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Just. I don't do this because I'm eloquent. I just do this because I, do, I don't know. We kind of got. You're handsome. Oh, yeah. You're looking at my picture, aren't you? <laughs> Speaking about pictures, did, uh,. Did Josh send you that uh, RoboCop um, theme song no. for the cartoon? Oh. Nope. I'll have to get that to me. Or maybe I need to check my email. I don't know. Uh, I'll send it to you if you don't got it. All right. Wonderful. It's terrible. Anybody want to jump in with memories? I, I don't want to no, keep like you guys from talking. I have to do most of the work. <laughs> You guys just like being there hanging out? Well, yeah. hey, it's still waiting to do Ace, right? What's that? Ace Pilot? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's funny. Uh, Jump to Light Speed was the first expansion, and here uh, Geiger and I are really close to finally acing the pilot. That's, That's been a while. True. So yeah. am I. I'm almost there. Yeah. I only have like three You're quarters of my tree left, or my, my wheel. Got to get past that first box so you can get your jacket. I know. Get your uh, bandolier. What is hey, I went up in space last week. That's, no, that's good. It's a start. The space is awesome. It's a start. Well, space got, is awesome. Hey, well, real quick, I and I got about uh, 700k in that one box. I I, min- I finished the mission, so about 300 more k, and I'll finish that, and I'll get that. The, the last the box. Next. Yeah. Cool. So the next. I I can't remember what you explained what it was. Oh, the droid, uh, droid, uh, command the, for, level four droid command is the easiest way to say what I was trying to say. Hey, you guys are lame, whatever. I need another mountain, dude. <laughs> uh, the castle or something kills certain ships? Or? Oh, you gotta kill 30 rebel ships after that, and then you gotta take out the, uh, the corvette. Right, at the end, yeah. Okay. But I'm getting a lot of nice loot, though. Not from those tier ones you're killing. No, no, no. From uh, I I was uh doing uh, Black Suns. I was going to oh, the, the the. Uh, I, I, was, I was getting bored, so I went to Endor to the Area D. Are you guys Came mad out. because I skipped over what you've been doing this week in the game? So now you just decided to bring it into the game or the show uh, whenever. You're mad, I'm aren't not- you? Earlier today. Why'd you take out what's doing in the game? What's doing in the game? Because I forgot to write it down in my show notes. <laughs> what's doing in the game? So we should call now. What's doing in the game? What's doing in the game? Oh, yeah. You're being uh, pretty quiet over there, Pyro. Think he left us? That's because Al Qaeda got him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. He's still connected, but. He Maybe. just stopped caring. He lost complete and total interest. <laughs> Kid that got uh, held up by, uh, by, what was it, the FBI? Who's chewing gum? I think it's Gyron. <laughs> oh, I've got my mouth. Yeah. I'm not chewing open. anything. <laughs> oh, there, there he we is. Go. I'm not chewing nothing. It's just a double cheeseburger. 
<laughs> just eat my calzone. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, then I'm going to go on with another story. <laughs> All right. Probably the oldest memory I have from playing SWG has to be a bunch of players, 10 to 20, ranging from novice marksmen to 3-3-3-3 marksmen, running to the cry gra- graveyard and killing them eventually. What a graveyard? The crap. Crate. Crate. Crot. I had a bone armor slash stormtrooper armor combo going that looked odd, but I was wearing the ST armor no matter what. Another great memory is the raids on the Bestine Imperial base on top of the hill and on Anchorhead, probably kiting it. Yeah. Usually there was one going on every day. Saw my first growl there as, as someone's pet. Of course, I still haven't left Tatooine. Probably left after a couple of months to Naboo, then I never left the place. Actually, that reminds me of the old grinding spot in Thede just past the shuttle port. Near the starport, all the creatures just sitting there grinding, uh, grinding scout and marksmen at the same time. Either with traps or going to the bridge at the edge of, and setting up a camp so you can catch the players as they grind, bo- boosting your XP gain. Scoutsman? Yes. It's a hybrid of scout and marksman? Scoutsman? Yeah. Maybe it'll be in the expertise system. <laughs> That's from Lance Hunter on, uh, Gorath. I'm going to take a call. I like calls. Calls are more fun. They're interactive. Yeah. It's like the people are telling me the story and I don't have to read and I get to just do nothing like you guys. That's awesome. (laughs) Actually, though, I got a split, guys. Okay. Well, thanks thanks for joining us this week and you're going to be with us next week too, right? That's right. I'll be with you next week too. Okay. Look forward to talking to you. All right. Later. See ya. Well, while we're getting with our next call, um, I wanted to say, I, I got a number of the, you know, we were talking about favorite moments. And I, I probably, as I was thinking of them, a lot of them come from when Gyron was here, rooming up with me, and it, completely straight. When, <laughs> in the well, one bedroom apartment? Come on. <laughs> a lot of my favorite moments came from when he would get mad because something he didn't like. <laughs> hey guys. Alex, how's it going? Yeah, pretty good. If you get past my house being flooded, I live on the Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe yeah. we can send you a boat or something. I don't know, life preserver. A TCR boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bunch of styrofoam cups duct tape together. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, oh man, maybe can we can we ask for donations for that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Get Alex House Best Fund. <laughs> <laughs> we collected five thousand dollars and we sent you some plastic cups so you can like <laughs> bail out your basement. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> Just one pack though; they're expensive. <laughs> yeah, what are they? Uh, half a cent per. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, Alex? What do you want to talk about this week? Well, if you look at like, uh, well, you can pretty much look at me as a pure Jedi hater. As you could say, ever since NGE, actually even before NGE, I've been for like a full Saber TEF ever since uh, Combat Upgrade hit. But basically, it's just, it's really pissing me off how all the uh, Jedi are acting with this, because I know, with the expertise, because I know how they, you know, were expecting new abilities and such to stack, but how can you really expect to stack all those abilities when you already got your revamp? And I don't really see why they're just not happy with the diversity that was given to them and their ability, which they've been asking for for a while, which is really like the light and dark trees. That's just you know kind of annoying me. I can kind of see where they're coming from, though, because they were, I mean, they were flat out told it's not going to be the same stuff. And then it turned around to be the same stuff. It's very poor communication on, on the development team's part. They should have got that info out there beforehand. But yeah. really, when it comes down to it, what could, what could they expect? <laughs> yeah, it's really, but they, I mean, the thing that even annoyed me even more is that, like, what everyone always says is whenever they're lied to by the devs that they always wish that they said something, they actually say something, and now they're just not really accepting it. <laughs> like, they actually said, sorry, we were wrong. Yeah, they're still waiting for the force ranking system. <laughs> Fight clubbing, anyone remember that? Yeah. Well, were you on Bluffin? Nope. Okay. Come on, I've been on Corey. A, a, there's a guild named Fight Club. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah. So, you want to share your favorite memory of the game with us? Yeah, sure, I guess, why not? Well, pretty much, I joined the game about publish, you know, two or three. I'm not a day one, what do you expect? But 
pretty much what I'm never going to forget is I went to the med center and I got this full group of newbies together. And, you know, we're going out and it's like we didn't even know what missions were. We're just going out there and we're just like killing every single thing we see. And then, hey, we got this completely full group. And you know what we see? We see a one single squill. Not a mountain squill, just a <laughs> normal freaking squill. You know, we're all there, you know, stuck up thinking that we can take it, not even knowing what a mission is. We go to attack it. Every single one of us gets slaughtered. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's not like it, w- it was even a fair fight. It was like we were completely planning this thing out in the entirety. We had like a flanking position going. I don't even know, if, even know if that would help. But we just got slaughtered by this one little freaking reptile, and even to this day, I cannot let one live. <laughs> That's great. They're playing this out. They think they're Ike planning D-Day, and they get wasted by a friend's oh, yeah. will. <laughs> and then it's, but the, the, that I'm never even going to forget is that, I, I don't know, but if this was even supposed to happen, but right after that, everyone was like, yo, maybe we should go get our battle fatigue healed, and I thought, like, I was, it was, I was only in the game for about a week. I thought that there was, like, some leveling system, even though there wasn't in pre-Q. And then what it was is that I looked at my battle fatigue. I thought, like, the battle fatigue, not even knowing what fatigue meant. I had no idea why. I thought it was, like, your you level. You're I'm, awesome. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I think I was, like, a 1,200. I'm like, oh, I'm owning. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Buffs, who needs buffs? I'm awesome. Dude, these grind sessions are great. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Well, that's really all i got to say. Thanks for doing the show, guys. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Talk to you later. All right, see ya. <sighs> you know, I even hate what squills look like. <laughs> Maybe you can take up the cause and kill them for them. They remind me of that creature from uh, what's on uh, Creep Show. Creep Show? Number yeah. Your connection sucks, Flip. <laughs> Well, you need a new internet. Yeah. I hear they have that for computers now. What? Call up and ask him to run some fiber to your house. <laughs> run some fiber. Well, am I breaking up total? Yeah. Muse licks. That's got a lot of fiber. Can you hear me? We, yeah, we can hear you now, but when you start going off, you just disappear. It goes into like, for me, I get like robot voice. I'm not getting robot voice, I'm getting choppy voice. It's like he's been well, assimilated. I'm- Voice from you earlier. Yeah, I blame Freak. No way, it's Flip. Well, anyways, it was. I'm gonna keep going, but it was the creep show. <laughs> for me, uh, well, and it looked like that squill. That's what I think of, anyways. And if anybody can figure out what he said, email it to me. That's our Friday scramble. <laughs> That's our Friday scramble. <laughs> Here, call me back. I'm gonna log out of here for a second. Okay. I'm gonna read another story while we wait for him to do all that. Let's see. Uh, this is from. Oh man. Will Flying, I believe that's the name. I believe it was either shortly before or after the CU came along, and I had mastered bioengineer. My favorite creation was Kodorova's Killer Bunnies, a dirty made from a nasty little mix of Vortor and Rancor DNA. I handed a couple of these out to creature handlers in my guild, and I always got a little grin when I saw them being used. I also had a TK, uh, yeah, TKA architect in the guild who liked to talk more than his uh, fair share of smack to our guild leader, a swordsman creature handler. It was all in the all in fun, but at the same time slightly trying. Well, one day the guild leader decided it was time to make the TKA uh, put up or shut up. They got together for a duel and either. Prepped in their own way, the guild leader pulling out one of my killer bunnies as the side kick for the duel. The fighting commenced, and initially it looked as though TK was going to win because he got the in-cap first and started moving for the kill. He forgot about the bunny. He kept getting hit and hit and hit by the dirty and ended up having to run off to get a little breathing room. By this time, the guild leader had recovered from the in-cap and moved over to help the dirty with the fight, but the bunny didn't need the help. He got the in-cap and allowed the guild leader to win the fight. <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. See, let's bring Flip in here to finish up the show. Or maybe, oh, it looks like he's completely rebooting. I'm going to bring Solon in. Let him share some stuff with us. Solon? Yeah. Let's see. Uh-oh. 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 I had oh, this figured out earlier. <laughs> Caller, welcome to Coast to Coast. 
from the Philippines. So when you there? Hi. So when you there? Yeah, I'm I'm here. Sweet. Yeah. Come on, what's your favorite moment? What's going on? Oh, favorite moment. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I I told you I have no idea what I'm calling in for. Um, hey, favorite moments. My first bounty hunter mission. Oh, that was awesome. I like I, like I player bounty hunter play. mission or. Yeah, my first bounty hunter mission. Because I got completely honed at it. <laughs> oh man. It was, I, I got a mission. I went to the mining outpost. I managed to sneak up on the, at, at the Jedi while he was, uh, uh, watching a dancer and all that. <laughs> so he, he didn't figure out what was going on for a minute or two. I managed to get him down to about uh, half his health, but then he he completely killed me. <laughs> it was it was fun. I I miss the old school bounty hunting. It's just not the same anymore. And they're gonna make it even easier. Yeah. I taken the spina spina eps out. Yep. Oh crap! Where did you come I from? Got a, <laughs> I got a crazy echo from that. <laughs> Flip, are you listening through your uh, headphones or through your speakers? All right, is it better? Oh, is anyone else getting feedback? Uh, I'm not. Okay. Are you getting weird feedback still? Nope. So I think no, everything's I think good. Everything's okay. Cool. I actually had one person who left me a voicemail to share their memory. I'm going to play that. You guys won't be able to hear it, but everyone else will. So just don't talk for the next minute. So I'll go get a Mountain Dew. This is Stetton Palver from Chalastra Server. I'm calling uh, with my favorite moment from Star Wars Galaxies. Um, it would be basically the second day, the first day that the servers actually worked. Um, we were, uh, all, all the crafters were sitting out sampling resources outside of Corvella. Um, everyone was uh, tipping each other credits so one person could run back and uh, get... Uh, trained up in a survey, you know, one through four. Uh, everyone was, you know, giving each other, you know, different resources so we can make the different crafting tools, uh, things like that. Um, it's a experience that can really only happen, uh, you know, just, you know, right at the beginning of uh, any MMO, just everyone working together, everyone's a noob. And uh, it's just something that I look back on and, uh, you know, just smile and say, you know, it was a good experience, so I'd probably say that uh, just the, those first few days, everyone working together was uh, my favorite experience from Star Wars Galaxies. Okay. That worked out well. Awesome. Which we have the, we have the voicemail set up for the next three months because you pay for it for – you have a choice. You can pay for it for three months or for a year, so I paid for it for three months. So if you ever feel like um, – you know, send in a voicemail, give us some topics talked about on the show. You can do that. At, my Skype name is Farika Saka. Pretty simple. Sweet. All right. Anybody got anything else you want to talk about before we wrap up the show? Nothing here. Uh, I'm going to hold off still on those, uh, my little, uh, um, like, uh, the contest and stuff like that because the rest of the event's going on. So. Okay. Cool. I guess uh, I'll. Actually- Oh, go I ahead. do have something. Uh, I'm, we're going to try to do the uh, bug report this Wednesday night. Sweet. Going to try to get that working. Okay. So. Okay. And yeah, we'll give that a whirl. See see what we can come up with. We have a lot of stuff on there we can talk about. So. Yeah, we do. All right. So that we'll probably have that ready on uh, Thursday if you want to download that. Check it out. It'll be hopefully a weekly thing. We'll see how it goes. But uh. I want to thank everyone for showing up this week. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, uh, wait one second. Uh, somebody just reminded me of apprentice points. Do you remember those? Yeah, fun. I remember paying top dollar to get apprentice points. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that was like a tough thing, you, you know, just to master something. You had to get so many apprentice points. Like, what was it? Uh, I don't even remember how many you had to get. I want to The most you could get was like, was it 600? I don't know. I want to say 600. I don't know if that's right or not. I remember you could max it out like at 1240 or something like that. I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> but I remember like just sitting in that starport because tons of people were always, always waiting. Oh, the prima guide says 620. So. 
So that's uh, twenty. That's master or elite skills. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I remember. Both. I just remember always standing at the starboard because there's always tons of people waiting for uh, the ship to come down. All right, I'm gonna, ten minutes to wait. I'm gonna wrap up the show because we're getting some bad feedback uh, from someplace. So. Uh, anyways, I want to thank uh, Psycho Pyro Darsushi for joining us this week. I want to thank everyone who called in. Uh, Solon, thanks for trying to keep the chat room under control. It seemed to go pretty easy tonight. Yeah. I don't know, so that, that's good. We're messing around with some uh, new chats. We'll eventually get something better. I keep promising Solon, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe he'll get lucky one day. But uh, I, don't know, I keep hearing myself, so I keep getting lost in what I want to say. Anyways, check out our website, galaxyreport.com. Swing by the forums. Uh, check out what we're talking about, what's going on. Add your two cents. Uh, you know, expertise, expertise tree ideas. You know, the Jedi ones, you're not happy with it. What would you do different? How would you have changed it up? would like to know. Go ahead, uh, post those up. I'll start something on there. Uh, you have any questions, you can email us, galaxyreport at yahoo.com. We're still looking for uh, TGR editorial icons. So if you create anything, uh, it's uh, about 48 by 48. Uh, Go ahead, send that to us. Winner's going to get a TGR, or a, not TGR, a Star Wars Galaxies t-shirt. So send that to contest at thegalaxyreport.com. Uh, what else do I have, Gyron? Uh, ben Franklin is pretty cool. Ben it's Franklin's cool. Explosions are awesome. Explosions good. Happy birthday, America. Uh, oh, next week is our one-year anniversary. Can you believe we've been what doing this for me? one year? It, it, it's a surprise. I want to yeah, we're not we're talking. talking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we should do? We should do it. Oh, now oh, I'm now getting, getting beat, beat, I go back. back. I think it's Solon. Yeah. Probably is me. Yeah, it's definitely Solon, though. So, uh, actually, for what well, I was thinking about for our one-year anniversary, if anyone has, like, a great TGR moment, they like that, like, we completely butchered something or they thought it was funny, and they want to, like, cut it up and... Send it to us. That'd be great. We could play that on air because there's no way I'm going back through all the episodes to look for stuff like that. <laughs> Maybe they can get back into like our first episodes when we were completely awful. What are you talking about? You had an edit button. I know, and it's sad that I had the edit button and we were still that awful. But uh, yeah, I I don't know. I'm I'm completely lost at this point. I don't know what to say? You think we were more on topic back then, or no? I don't know. We had our fa- our uh, famous episode number six that was completely off topic. I think the entire time. That might have been the off topic episode. I think it was. But that'll be fun, and uh, hopefully we can get a couple dev interviews going over there. Some of the, you know, things that they've liked over the past three years of uh, Star Wars Galaxies. Still trying to work that out. So, uh, anyways, thanks everyone for uh, showing up this week. Thanks for listening, and we will see you all next week. Franklin rules. <laughs>